Please subscribe to this channel and also tap the notification bell in order for you not to miss out on any of our videos. After the attempted arrest of the Secretary General of the Presidents of the Republic, Chantal Bia knows that she must double her vigilance in the face of her increasingly absent husband and the opponents who are ready to bring down the supposed institution which is inviolable and the strongest one in the country, that is the Presidency. Chantal Bia has never declared her candidacy for the post of President of the Republic. This is unthinkable, and the First Lady has never allowed the idea to appear according to several of her relatives. But Chantal Bia is also not an adversary to be neglected for those who intend to get their hands on the power that is supposed to be that embodied by her husband, and she knows it very well. Chantal is the closest person to the President. As his wife, she is at the same time his bodyguard, the one who watches over what the President eats. She checks if he is taking his medication. She makes sure who is talking to him and who should not approach him. A great task which often implies that she soaks up and makes decisions on the political level. But how long will this last, especially alone in the front of everyone? In an article published in the fever of the celebration of the 40 years of the presence of Paul Bia, Jeanne Afrique reveals how the First Lady has doubled her vigilance and is preparing to thwart the next blows which could target her, her husband, the President, or even one of his faithful to the Presidency and the government. Jeanne Afrique writes, Etudi is no longer the temple surrounded by a halo of mystery that it used to be. And this pillar of the Chantal system felt the wind of the cannonball and suffered the blow. And it will not be the last. The age of her husband, 89 years old, and the prospect of the opening of the succession, which whets many appetites, at the ends of the current mandate, Chantal Bia will have to assist the president, but also protect herself from adversity. In the midst of the clan war, Chantal Bia shines with her discretion. Nothing that she thinks of or undertakes comes through, despite the numerous warnings of the storm. For this, she can count on dozens of politicians and senior officials who owe her all or parts of their career. These are examples of the Minister of Culture, Pierre Ismael Bidungpat, a sly politician from Ho Sanagar, the Department of Origin of the First Lady, and even the Minister of Public Service, Joseph Le, a journalist by training who worked at the Cameroon Radio Television.